Inside the world of Kim Jong-un, a former North Korean spy tells us Pyongyang will never give up its weapons. In the end, denuclearization cannot be achieved. Why? North Korea's nuclear deterrent is tied to Kim Jong-un's survival. British police are dropping a review of sexual assault allegations by an American woman, Virginia Giuffray, against Prince Andrew. The spy who fed me, the FBI, says it's uncovered a plot to sell national secrets concealed in a sandwich. After more than 100 days of lockdown, New South Wales begins to open up, providing you've had the jab. And 16 people have died in a plane crash in Russia, nearly a thousand kilometers east of Moscow. A further six people who were on board the light aircraft were rescued with serious injuries and have been taken to hospital. The plane, owned by a local flying club, crashed soon after takeoff. Most of those on board were members of a parachute team. Ireland's foreign minister has said that the UK's demands for changes to the Northern Ireland Protocol could cause a breakdown in relations with the EU. The Brexit Minister, Lord Frost, has said he wants the European Court of Justice removed from oversight of the deal. Tens of thousands of people have protested in the Belgian capital, Brussels, for ambitious action to tackle global warming. It comes three weeks before the start of a major United Nations climate summit, which is to be held in Scotland. The issue gained greater political traction in Belgium in the wake of deadly floods that hit the country and the wider region in July. A team of young female Afghan footballers who fled the country after the Taliban took control have been told that they can live in the UK with their families. 35 members of the Afghan women's development team, who are aged between 13 and 19, escaped from Kabul to Pakistan last month. The British government says it's finalizing visas for the group.